In this lesson, we will take a look how we can improve the look of our intro by applying some layer styles to certain layers. Layer styles in After Effects are very similar to layer styles in Photoshop, if you are familiar with these. To apply a layer style, you can select the layer in your timeline panel, then click right on your mouse, and you see we have the layer styles right here. And we have approximately the same layer styles as in Photoshop, so you can apply a drop shadow, you can apply inner glows, outer glows, bevel and embers, and so on. We will not use any of these options right now. What I want to use, first of all, is I want to apply a bevel and embers layer style to our circle layer. So let's select our circle layer. You can also access the layer styles by coming up here to the layer menu. You see here we have the layer styles as well. So let's select the bevel and embers for now. And you see what this does. It creates this kind of uh, 3D looking bevel. Now let's come into the settings here. You see After Effects applied the layer styles right here and here we have the bevel and amber settings. We can open these up and I will make this a little bit bigger that we can see everything. And here we have a few settings. Uh, first of all, we want to make sure that this is an inner bevel. You can choose to an outer bevel or to an emboss or pillow emboss. You have a few different settings here. You can play with these and take a look at these. In my case, I just want to create an inner bevel. So let's make sure that the technique here is smooth. You have a bunch of other options. You can play around with these. In my case, I want to use the smooth options. Then we can change the depth. If you make this like smaller, then you see that the effect becomes more subtle. If you increase it, then it becomes more obvious. Let's set this to a standard value of 100. Uh, direction can change it between up and down. That determines where the light is coming from. In our case, I want the light to come from the top here. So let's set this to up. Then you can, of course, change the size. So I can really increase this, but this looks very strange in our case. So I think that the standard value of five is okay. Now you could soften it, then this edge becomes a little bit softer. Also quite a nice effect if you want this to be some a round edge, more of a round edge. Let's set this back to around five maybe. So use global light, we do not need this because we have no light in our scene. You can change the angle, then the angle of the light will change or will rotate around our circle. Control C to undo this. I will use the standard setting of 120 degrees. Then you have the altitude of your light. If you change this, then also the appearance will change a little bit. But let's set this to 30 degrees. The highlight mode you can change here by using all the blend modes that are available in After Effects. I didn't talk about blend modes yet. We will talk about all the blend modes a little bit later. The standard setting here is screen. And I think that this looks quite good in our case. What I want to use here actually is I want to change the highlight color a little bit. We are working with this violet uh, colors here. So let's change the color here to something similar like this one. Let's sample this color here and let's make this a little bit brighter. I click in here and make this color here just a little bit brighter so that we have this slight tint so that our highlight is not fully white but it's a little bit tinted in pink so that it blends better into our environment. Okay, I think that the layer style looks really good on our circle. Now we can copy the layer style and reuse it on our logo, for example. So select the layer style right here, the bevel and emboss. Press Ctrl C on your keyboard. You can also use, as always, edit and press copy. Now let's close this layer and let's select our After Effects logo and let's press Ctrl V to paste it in. You could also just come up here and go to edit and paste. Now you see that our layer style is applied to our logo as well. If you want to preview the difference, you can click in here on layer styles on this eye switch and you see now it's disabled and now it's enabled and you see what this does. Let's come into our settings. I want to change the settings a little bit because this is a little bit smaller. So let's reduce the size here. Let's set the soften to zero and let's set this to, let's say three. It's not very obvious, but it adds a little bit of depth here. Another option that we have is we could add 
some shadows to our circle. So let's come in here to our circle again. Let's close this one up here and let's right click again. Let's go to layer styles and let's add a drop shadow. A drop shadow is something that can be quite useful and quite nice. So you see, we have a slight shadow going on here. It's not so obvious because our background actually is very dark. So maybe we should change the color of our background a little bit. So let's come in here to our background layer and let's change the color. Let's click on our gradient ramp in our effect controls panel. If it's not open in your layout, then come in here to windows and effect controls panel right here, activate it. Now let's change this color. Let's make this a little bit brighter. I want to sample actually a color from my logo. So I take the color picker here and then I sample, let's say the color in this area here, maybe something like that. Okay. And I think that this looks actually a little bit better, you know? So let's move back to our circle and now let's take a look at the options that we have in our drop shadow here. So I will close the bevel options. I will open up the drop shadow options. And what I want to do is I want to uh, make this a little bit more subtle. So set the opacity to 50%. Let's say what we can do is we can increase the distance a little bit, maybe something like 15 pixels. And we could also change the size a bit and the size makes it more soft. So if you take a look at the edges of our shadow, they become more soft. So let's increase this to maybe 25. And I think that this looks quite good. Now we have a little shadow uh, which is separating our circle from our paint elements. Okay, so this is it for now for layer styles. If you want to experiment or if you want to check out more layer styles, then just come in here and just apply a few more layer styles. You can just uh, move through all of them, experiment with the settings and get to know all the different options that we have here. Okay, so this is it for this lesson. Don't forget to save your project. And in the next video, we are going to take this a step forward and improve the look of our intro animation.